Hey there, I'm Blocko, and I don't know about you, but turning off my cellular device when I'm on a plane is a hassle and a half. It's Thursday, so that means we're answering one of your questions, and this week we're gonna find out, is using your phone on an aircraft actually bad? It's possible that phones could emit radio signals that could interfere with aircraft communications, flight control, and other electronic equipment on board. This idea has more to do with what the public believes is true than proven science. The RTCA Radio Technical Commissions for Aeronautics has been examining the electromagnetic interference since 2003, and they acknowledge Acknowledge that banning electronic use below 10,000 feet is near useless, while still maintaining a sense of caution, of course. Many countries have banned the use of cellular devices on planes, but as the issues have been addressed by new technology, the bans have been lifted. Air France was the first airline to allow the use of cell phones in flight to text, email, and even send and receive calls in 2008. When you use your cell phone on a plane, you are thousands of feet above cell towers moving at around 500 miles per hour. When you're on the ground, your phone doesn't really have to work very hard to make a call, but in the air, both the phone and the network get confused. There is an abundance of cell towers available at any given moment when you're traveling at a high speed. This makes the phone emit a stronger signal and increases the possibility of interfering with the plane's equipment. Newer plane technology uses a Pico cell which acts like a mini cell tower on board and allows the phones on the plane and the towers on the ground to interact normally. Are you one to turn your phone off during a flight? Airplane mode? Let us know. As usual, I'll be answering a new question every Thursday, so ask anything you want to know in the comment section below or on Facebook and Twitter. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.